do you think of a match of Arena for JT? She's okay, but she looks like she'll be just like him conceited. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, Arena, what about you? Did you have to make any promises to JT before your date? Um, actually, he wanted me to promise that I wasn't going to be late. And when I did show up on time, he was not even in the shower yet. Well, I'm not, I'm not used to anybody keeping their promise. So. Oh, so you expected she was going to be late. Now, uh, JT, before you actually jumped into the shower, did you get a glimpse of Arena? Uh, actually, I was walking into the shower door, and I happened to look down because I forgot some things downstairs, mm -hmm. and all I could see was curly hair and this beautiful ass. <laughs> combination and arena first thing you noticed about jt oh his ass yeah. <laughs> when i walked into the room his pants fell around his knees and um he Damn did man. calvin klein justice i see oh. all right now the good thing is you both got to see each other from the backside. jt how'd she look from the front from the front she was off the hook i mean just the back would have been cool with me i could have walked around backwards with her all day <laughs> <laughs> Well, JT, you said Sadita never does anything for you. What about Arena? Well, first off, we went to dinner at this Chinese buffet, and she brought my napkins, she brought my food, she refilled my drinks. It was just all well, unasked for. You always do that for me, so I don't have to do nothing for you. You won't do it. You so it was a nice change. Because I know I won't do it, because you do it for me, so I don't have to do it. So, Arena, here you guys are having dinner, uh, conversation, of course. Did JT then share with you any concerns he has about his relationship with Sadita? <laughs> Um, yes, actually, he said that she is very unaffectionate, and the only time that she calls her, the only time that she comes around is when she wants to go shopping or when she needs a little money. Oh, oh yeah. don't even go there, because I asked you for nothing, so don't even go you there. You ask for stuff. I don't ask for nothing. You ask for stuff. You know what? Well, let me, see what else, let, me, let me see what else Arena heard. Did you hear any other girlfriend gossip while you were hanging out with JT? He said that she's very jealous, she's very possessive, and she's very mean, and the only time... Well, actually, well, they'll be out somewhere, and if he would look at another female, she would sock him in the ribs. <laughs> He'd get busted. Oh, Mike, Mike Tyson's little sister. Hey, no. All right, JT, what about this date, though? Some point along the way where things got really romantic, you could tell? Well, yeah, things start getting a little bit romantic, but I just couldn't keep my eyes off her ass. It was like... <laughs> Again! We were, we were holding hands, and I kind of wanted to take two steps back and kind of trail behind her just so I can kind of look at it the deep string. All about the booty, I'm telling you. Booty. <laughs> Banging booty. Banging booty. <laughs> now, JT, what about when you were hanging out with her? Did she show you some signs of affection? Yeah, we were outside, and it was kind of cold, and, you know, she kind of hugged me, and it was the warmest embrace I've ever felt in my life. And I don't get any of that from Sabina. Mm -hmm. Now, JT, all these things are bringing you closer to her right now. Anything that turned you off while you guys were hanging? She got this fetish for candy. The girl eat more candy <laughs> than a whole elementary for the little children. Really? Was it nonstop? Because you have a candy drawer, so what you talking about? You well, have a candy drawer in your room. Actually, you had a candy drawer because you stole everything. Okay, well, I know. I know. <laughs> now, wait a minute, because something unusual happened, right? Arena, you met JT's mom in a kind of a strange place. Tell us about that. Yeah, actually, he said that he wanted me to meet his mom at his mom's club. And when we got there... I didn't know it was a strip club, and oh, I walked in, and I saw this butt-naked man pouring some all down the front of his chest, all in front of me just dancing some. <laughs> I kind of looked at her head, and I'm like, Arena, Arena, and she's like, you know, get her head over, and I'm like, Arena. Now, Arena, was JT just as fascinated with this guy's moves as you were? Yeah, and he made a little comment that he was going to show me, um, what he has later on. Arena, what, Arena, did you get to see some of JT's moves later? Well, he invited me back to his friend's house, and um, we, we did a little kissing there, and um, mm -hmm. I, yeah. Yeah. I gave a thumbs up from the lips of him. You like that? It was good? <laughs> and JT, how long did this date last? Oh! <laughs> date lasted. Kiss me my lips, think. Uh -huh. no, it's, Take like Skittles. Before I kiss you. Uh, JT, how long did the date last? The date lasted approximately a whopping 14 hours. I just couldn't get enough of it. And, like, we watched the sun, we watched the sunrise together, and it was like, I told her at the end of the date, I had a decision to make. Oh, absolutely. And we're going to find out what that is, but don't say anything yet. Now, they both felt their relationship was moving really fast. 
So JT wanted to make sure he couldn't be tempted by another woman, and Sadita wanted whether she was really ready for a long-term relationship. We're going to get the decisions, but before we do that, Ricky, you were out here earlier. You're best friends with both of these guys. What do you think they should do? I think JT's proven himself that he loves Sadita. I think they should stay together. Oh. All right, there's the word from the best friend. JT, let's start with you. It seems, you know, like you got some strong feelings for Sadita, obviously. Uh, things aren't actually perfect. We sent you out with Arena, and you guys had a really good date. She's beautiful, you said. She made you feel special, which are things that you're looking for. What do you say? Well, you know, me and Arena went out, and, I mean, we had a date. I mean, I had the most fun that I've ever had in my life. She's beautiful. Everything that you can want in a woman. But my heart is with Sadita, so that's... So you say stay together. Arena, sorry things didn't work out for you. Now, Sadita, JT wants to stay. You went out with Renaud. You thought he was kind of mellow, but you still had a lot of fun flirting at dinner. You guys hit the sex shop. You had a good time. What's your decision? Well, I would like to, th to thank Renaud for showing me, you know, a real good time. And I hope this experience would teach JT a lesson. So I've had to change of heart. Change of heart. JT, you're not getting what you need out of the relationship, so hopefully uh, there's somebody else that's out there that's going to fulfill your needs in a better situation for you. All right, that's our show for today. Thanks to Ricky for your input about your friends there. Also, thanks to JT and Arena, and good luck to Sadita and Renaud. We'll see you next time right here on Change of Heart.